Rizzuto Show on 105.7 The Point. All right, welcome back to The Riz Show. Our phone number, 314-969-DUDE, 314-969-3833. Mr. Finesse Mitchell is here. Hey! <laughs> Hello, it sir. is I. It is I you. I am here. Happy birthday, sir. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Absolutely, man. You wanted ice cream cake? <laughs> uh, no, because that gives that messes with my my, my guts, my bubble guts. Uh, if I eat ice cream, I get a bit too hippie. <laughs> it goes right to my hips if I have ice cream cake. Well, thanks for coming in, man. Appreciate it on my birthday. What a gift, guys! Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Mitchell on my on my birthday. Uh, it's uh, Jameson <laughs> and Finesse Mitchell and yes. ice cream cake. There it is. And you're wearing conflicting uh, hat and shirt. No, I'm not. I'm wearing a baseball outfit. All right. <laughs> That's conflicting. True. It's all baseball. That is well, true. He's got a Dodgers hat on and and. Angel shirt. Uh huh. But everything does match it's nicely. Fine. This, you wearing a Mr. Robinson's neighborhood I, sweater? It's chilly in here. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know, it's funny. When, when I told my wife I need a sweater, I said, actually, get me like a Mr. Rogers sweater. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See? I love it. She nailed you know it. Because Mr. Rogers is always comfortable, isn't he? Very comfortable. That is comfortable. true. He did always very kick calm, it. Guess who's comfortable? Very comfortable. This guy. <laughs> yes. And I'm freezing. In, Are you? In the baseball. Would you like to borrow my sweater? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I'm just going to go shopping after this. All right, all right. Uh, Finesse is at Helium Comedy Club. He's got a show tonight, two shows tomorrow, two shows on Saturday. You Finesse Mitchell from where, though? you got to say Saturday Night Live. You gotta I'm, say... I'm going to get into oh, that. okay. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. I was going to say, you may know him from such things as okay. well, Saturday Night Live. And what else? And roadies. Hey, and now I'm liking you. I was a big fan of, and I'm very disappointed that show is not a low longer. Trust me, I went and bought two cars, thinking that show had at least another year. <laughs> <laughs> to go and give one car back, and it was a lease. How you give a lease back? They anyway. needed more Ron White. Yes, they did. They needed more finesse, Mitchell, and more finesse. I was mm-hmm. they needed to that more too. sex. <laughs> they needed more drugs. They needed a lot of more stuff. Now that was a show with Luke Wilson and uh, Car- Carla Gugino. Yeah. Uh huh. MGK. The Italian chick. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, Machine Gun Kelly, Kelly. was in that. Yeah. yeah it was, was a dope brother. show. It was a yeah. great show. We just got too storytelly ish, maybe, and not enough, you know. Yeah, what do you think the problem was? It, and it was a Cameron Crowe. I mean, it was a Cameron Crowe yeah. show. It was yeah, his it was world. Awesome. He definitely knows that world. We had great superstar, rock star guests. Yeah. I mean, it was, it, I love the formula. I love the show. I loved working with everybody. I just, I just think we didn't hit people in the face hard enough. You know what I mean? You yeah, know what I mean by that? it started off very strong. Yeah, yeah. It started off very strong, and then I guess you know maybe four episodes in it, it got a little. I wouldn't say preachy. Um, it got a little lovey dovey. Yeah, maybe it got too much off the music aspect of it because it was fun. It was a good show, man. Mm-hmm. We just, like I said, not enough drugs, not enough sex, not enough finesse, Mitchell, not enough Ron White. Yeah. In the middle of that, or at the beginning of that, or after it's a little while, can you tell that something like that? You're like, oh man, we started off strong, but this ain't going anywhere now. Yeah, but it was funny. It wasn't until like, because sometimes when you do a show like that, you know, you're not in every episode. So, you know, you're not going to read a lot of the scripts if you're not in it. Mm-hmm. So you go, I tour, I do my thing, I come back, you, you, you get the post of the show, what's going on, and you're like, hmm. I wonder if we're going to be here next year. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then the execs are like, we love it. You guys are doing awesome. And then you're like, all right, cool. And then you go buy two cars. <laughs> and then they cancel it. <laughs> but, you shot, but you shot, you know, you shot all that stuff prior to it airing. So, yeah, I mean, like the whole season. Yeah, but the, whole the thing season. was, though, even after the season was done, oh, my God, you guys are awesome. Yeah. Oh, next year, da-da-da-da. Okay, next year. Got all it. right, here we go. And then there's no next year. Damn it. Ooh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it. that's all right. That's show business, right? I don't like Priuses. I don't know why I bought that Prius. <laughs> I just bought it because people in L.A. was buying them. So no, I was we, like, we, we were talking before about, uh, so you were a walk-on at, uh, at Miami. University of Miami Hurricanes. We will be better this year. And, and you uh-huh. played with The Rock? Yes, I played alongside with The Rock in practice. He played on the actual field in the game. <laughs> yes, I was there. I played with he Warren Sapp seat. and Ray Lewis. We had a dope team. We won a championship in 91 and uh, ran through the smoke a lot of times, and that was it. Ran straight through the smoke and to the bench. <laughs> Watched the game with everybody else. <laughs> But I'm sure the coach is you like, know you ain't getting the... in the game when you turn around in the stands and you see your people down and you're like, yo, give me that hot dog. <laughs> they, they ask you, somebody pass you a hot dog. No, you were on the team. You got a, you got a, a ring and everything. Yes, I did. Yeah. I was gonna say you are still a national champion. Yeah, whether you absolutely. Stepped brother. on that field or not, they There's still send bench. me tickets to this day. They, the alumni, everybody knows me, and I'm famous now. Yeah. So uh-huh. Even back, even back then, I was cool because I was a big frat boy, you know, and um. 
you know, I was handsome and we threw all the parties and yeah. then, you know, and then we kicked people's butt on the football field. And it wasn't about, you know, who's going to play because it was Miami. Everybody ran a 4-3 or 4-4 right. and everybody was huge. Um, but, you know, now <laughs> I'm kind of rich and on TV. Uh-huh. And they're like, yeah, man, we knew you was the man. Da, right. da, da. <laughs> so as a uh, collegiate athlete okay, mm-hmm. on the University of Miami Hurricane football team, yeah. how much class did you really go to? How much schoolwork did you really do? My See, the reason I got kicked off the team uh, was because my first year I had uh, 1.5. Okay. And we had what they call a freshman forgiveness rule. So that let, they let you take all the classes over and then, uh, you know, try to get your GPA above a 2.0. And so I got a 1.8 the next year. So And you have to be above a 2.0. I had to be above a 2.0. And then uh-huh. they were pretty much like, you know what? We can lie for the starters. <laughs> but we are not going to lie for you. Right. So, you know, you got to go. Um, and I was like, all right, give me my ring. I'll leave. I didn't go to a lot of classes. <laughs> give me my <laughs> ring. I'll give my ring on the way out. We won a championship. I want my ring. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was at practice. I deserved that ring. Give me my ring. You in college really didn't have the same understanding of what learning was. Well, you know what? I was there. You know, usually when I was in high school, you know, your mom wakes you up and say, hey, you're running late. Go to yeah. class. In college, nobody wakes you up. Nope. Nobody An alarm clock does. Nobody cares. Man, yeah, and the alarm is. clock wakes you up, and you go like this. I'm not listening to you, alarm clock. Uh-huh. Right. You and then you go right back to times, bed. And then you realize, why am I setting classes for 8 o'clock? Like, you, you learn so much yeah. your first year. Like, you got it. Oh, I, I, my year year I just why dropped my kid off for her freshman year, and, and she's a big smile on her face because her first class every day isn't until after 10 a.m. Right. And that's like a uh, feather in somebody's cap. Uh, right. Man, people had it so down that a lot of people only had classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and they would go to class just all day. Mm-hmm. So they're going to start at like 9 or 10, and they're going to go all the way to like maybe 8 p.m. that night. But they're only in class on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I didn't even know you could do that. So they would leave on Thursday night and come back on Tuesday morning. That was that was was, was me. (laughs) That my freshman year, I had class Monday through Friday. My class started at nine, but I was like done at noon, and I thought it was great. Mm -hmm. Then after I realized that was dumb, Mm -hmm. the next semester. My classes were Tuesday and Thursday. I went to school at 10 a.m. and I was there until six, and then I was done. Let me tell you how dumb I was. I was a civil engineering major. So I had calculus, chemistry, and all this other stuff that has to do with engineering. And then I realized, I want to play football. Why didn't I just <laughs> yeah. take, like, musicology or, or something? Basket weaving or all walking. Stuff. There yeah. was a walking but you know class. What? The, next, yeah. the next year, I signed up for musicology, <laughs> art history. Two Fs. <laughs> Hardest <laughs> classes I ever took in my life. <laughs> Hardest classes I ever took in my life. The only class I passed in college was the radio class. That's it. Look at me now. Look at you. Yes. Finesse Mitchell. Ooh. See? This is all. I'm talking to Finesse Mitchell. This is all so encouraging. In the country. I got, I'm taking my daughter to college today. Mm-hmm. And I've already paid for like three months. And... Uh, she is not the type to wake up uh, on her own. So this is all extremely encouraging, yeah, encouraging talk. Yeah. Yeah. I'm That's super it. stoked right now. Good yeah. luck. You wasted your money. <laughs> well, Jeff over here took his uh, daughter to college on Monday, and inside the co-ed dorm room, mm-hmm. uh, I'm sorry, the co-ed bathrooms at the dorms, mm-hmm. there were three drawers. Mm-hmm. One said dental dams, one said female condoms, and one said male condoms. Mm. Just available for all the freshmen. Yep. And <laughs> every drawer was empty. That's you right. You know what? On and the I first would have been day, like... Get back in the car. Right. Get back in the car. <laughs> the worst thing was my daughter said, oh, cool, more dental dams. Let me have oh, some of those. No. <laughs> I don't even know what a dental dam is. What is oh, a dental we had dam? A show, we, show him the picture. We, we, have, we, have, oh. we have photos. Yeah, it's, wow. it's, you stretch it, and then you... I'm so <laughs> dumb. I'm thinking like uh-huh. dental uh-huh. floss or something. Yeah. No, that's where it started, from. though, I think. Right. Like, they use that... While well, we're really, that was teeth, another reason. Like, oh, this could be used. You know, there. you know how some old school uh, <laughs> kitchens have the round piece of rubber that is uh, that is ribbed, if you will, and you yeah. put it on top of a mason jar to help you open oh, yeah, it up. Yeah. That's uh, what it looks like. Okay. I, oh, I got it once you, you, you did it with your <laughs> I hands. I did the thing. Oh, oh, I got it. Once you did it with his hands, yeah, of yeah, course. She showed it to me. <laughs> All right, so uh, Finesse is here. John Patrico's here. It's time for the Craigslist Freak of the Week. <laughs> so here's how this works, Mr. Mitchell. Okay. We scour the St. Louis area Craigslist looking for our, uh, our favorite freaks out there. Okay. We look in the personal section, the uh, misconnections, the rants and raves, the uh, for sale stuff. Oh, I mean... You name it, we're, we're looking for it. Okay. okay. In that section. See a lot of dong pictures, by the way, searching <laughs> Craigslist. A lot so, of what pictures? Dong, dong pictures, dong. Uh, penis pictures, a lot okay. of them. All right. So we find again, our, we're back down to this area again. Okay. We, we find our favorite freaks, and John reads them on the air. And you guys out there, you vote for your favorite freak. Okay? 
Okay, and one of these freaks will be moving on to the next round. We have a tournament, the Freak of the Year tournament, vying for the Jerry Sandusky Memorial Plaque. Okay, we know he's not dead, but he should be. And there is the uh, Jared Fogle runner-up certificate of participation. So, you guys in the chat room, uh, you guys will help us out with the names of these freaks. We had to name all these guys, too. Okay. So, get in the uh, Metro PCS camera and chat room, 1057thepoint.com slash Riz. So, I want you to listen. I want you to kind of just take it all in. And uh, you could comment after John is uh, done reading the ad, okay? Okay. All right, John, ready to get going? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Craig's is Freak of the Week. Here is ad number one. Come and take me, man for man, 23-year-old Olive, Missouri. I'll be at Faust Park on both Saturday and Sunday. I'll be by the water area that just shut down last week. I'll be sitting on a red and white checkered blanket. Come and get me. I want you to sneak up from behind, and you're going to take that queer out of me. Tackle me. Tie up my arms and legs and take me away. I want to feel like I'm in danger. I want you to lift me up. Don't worry. I'm a skinny fairy. And carry me to your car. Toss me in the trunk. Drive me to your place and do whatever you want. No firearms or blades. Other than that, no limits. Violence, degradation, whatever you want. Use me as a toilet. Be creative, but respect me. When you are done with me, drop me off near the carousel back at the park. We don't even have to exchange names. I'm going to set up my blanket around one both days. I'll have lunch if you're hungry. I'll wait. No smokers, please. All right, there you go. That's your uh, first Holy cow. first ad, Craigslist Freak of the Week. What time did he say on Saturday? Because uh, <laughs> I got a show. About, around 1. 1 around in the one, afternoon. Yes, I can make that. Yeah, free lunch. <laughs> Both Saturday and Sunday. Uh-huh. So he's going to be at Faust Park, uh, which is a very nice, lovely park in, in the suburbs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and... Um, a place where there are a lot of kids, by the way, too, you know, Ew, playing on the playground that's over right. there. Right. Oh. So he wants you to come and uh, sneak up from behind, quote, take this queer out of here, tackle him, tie up his arms, and basically kidnap him, mm-hmm. and then do whatever you will back at your residence. My and favorite then drop line back is off. use me as a toilet. Mm. But respect me. I love that. I love the fact that he will let you and wants you to use him as a toilet, but no smokers. Because right. that's gross. That's disgusting. You don't understand that. Saturday, one p.m. Huh? No fire. Because I don't know who. I don't know if I'm gonna get lucky this weekend. You know? Yeah, that's right. So if that's this a sure thing at one p.m., it seems as though it's a sure thing. I think so. I don't think it gets any sure. Look for that checkered blanket. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, names for this guy. Oh, we got some good ones. We've got uh, Chubby Checker for the checkered oh, blanket. Uh, we've got. But he gay- is a skinny fairy. Yeah, says, that is so. true. We've got uh, Gay Parker Jr. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have Fairy Lee Lewis. Mm-hmm. I like this one because he's going to have a little picnic. Pick Nicholas Cage. Okay, not bad. Oh, did you see the Tom Bruce one, or have we already used? I think that? we used Tom Bruce before. Okay. So pick Nicholas Cage. All right. <laughs> you know there was somebody did suggest this. That this might be a possibility. Somebody said, "What if this is just a real gnarly prank on a friend that happens to be picnicking there around 1 p.m. every day?" Oh, I thought that too. Like this guy just loved to let go and have a little himself a little picnic basket. No, no I'm saying he's just going to be at the park. Yeah, yeah if my buddy it's or your my boy that knows you have a checkered blanket. Oh boy, <laughs> he knows you're going there <laughs> to meet your girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? I yeah. set things so up at one. He knows she's going to show up late. Because you're going to be romantic and get there early to set everything Ooh, up. Oh, boy. Yeah. And then we're sending over Finesse Mitchell. Mm. Yeah. Finesse Mitchell comes. Next thing I know, I'm in Finesse's arms <laughs> into the back of a trunk. And use you as a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> well, Finesse Finesse I'm Finesse Tracy Mitchell. Morgan. <laughs> I mean, like, totally disguise my voice. <laughs> All right, there's a nominee. I like blankets. <laughs> there's a nominee one for you. All right, John, ready? Ready. Nominee number two coming at you. Craig's this Freak of the Week. I can help you. Woman for man, 44-year-old, North St. Louis. Are you in town for business and looking for a quick hookup? Let me be the one for you. And don't worry, I'm not a hooker, so I don't want your money. This ain't free, though. 
I do have a wish list. Before you get up in here, you need to bring condoms, Cool Ranch Doritos, 500-count box of Q-tips, a vanilla candle, and a six-pack of Bud Heavy. I'm a big girl. It's not easy getting around. Don't worry. Only a few items are needed for what we're going to do. I am dark as a plum, long braided hair, light eyes, and have been told I got Beyonce's face. Don't let this big girl scare you away. I don't have a car, and I lost my bus pass, so I can't get to you. You be coming to me. Email me back, and I'll get you the details. I'm close to the airport. You must send a full body and a D picture to get a reply. Get at me. All right, there's uh, nominee number two for you. <laughs> These white girls are getting out of control. <laughs> That's all I want to say. That's you all I want to say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> These Heathers and Beckys, they are getting out I of control. I love, all right, I'm a big girl, but I got Beyonce's face, so I've been told. No, there was an edit there. It's Beyonce's gardener's face. <laughs> this is basically a gal that wants to trade favors for a grocery list. She wants you to grocery Basically, run for Basically, she yeah. wants you to stop at CVS to pick up toiletries <laughs> <laughs> before you get up in that. I've seen those, uh, you know, Amazon wish lists. Yeah. And normally chicks want, like, jeans or, like, yeah. gift cards, you know, Victoria's Secret. Just, this chick wants she cool wants to get that earwax <laughs> out of her ear. <laughs> and how about a girl that just that calls it a six pack of Bud Heavy? Bud Heavy. It's just Budweiser, but she's Bud calling it Heavy. Bud Heavy. Don't give me that Bud Light crap. <laughs> well, at least she's a weed smoker. Because nobody just want Cool Ranch chips just <laughs> and nothing else. If that's the only food item, yeah. we know. I'm it. completely sober and I want some Cool Ranch Doritos. No, listen, nobody's ever said that. She's no. up by the airport too. So <laughs> hey. As as on, said, when I leave the park Saturday, <laughs> Sunday before I leave Missouri, right close to the airport, right the by the airport. airport. Yeah. As soon as he said, "Are you in town for business for this?" Right? Yes, yes, I, I am. am. I, I am in town for business. I happen to be yeah, in town. I only good. tell jokes at night. I'm all business during the day. All right, names for uh, this freak. Uh, we've got a couple here. A oh. lot of people are saying Oprah Winfrey. Uh, <laughs> also, some people said the Wall Queen. Which is pretty good too. I like Hopper. Somebody said Hosan as well. I like Hopper when I do too. I like the black Khaleesi. <laughs> she got braids. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's let's call her Hopper Winfrey. We okay with that? Like Hopra. All right, deal. All right. Oh, and uh, finally, oh yeah. Nominee number three. Here we go. Back to school, Daddy. Man for woman. Thirty eight year old Hazelwood. It's back to school, and I've just moved into the Hazelwood School District. My son is excited to start fourth grade, and we are going to meet the teachers on Monday. Looking for some fun? While the kids get settled and the wives are talking to the teachers, let's skip class and meet out in the parking lot. Attention all single and willing dads. We'll only have a couple minutes, so we got to make this a quickie. <laughs> I'll be in the red Nissan Quest minivan. Knock twice, and I'll let you in. No blacks, no mm. Jews. Oh boy. Mm. Not racist, but just not for me. We must make sure that no kids will be around. <laughs> that is something we need to make sure we are careful about. I don't want a suspension. He, he, he. I'm an oral <laughs> cop. That's it. The wives will never know. Email me, and I'll tell you which school I'll be at. Looking forward to it. Thanks. Holy All right. That's a- <laughs> Jeez. School's there's, back. There's a, lot, there's a lot going on with this one. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. So let's break it down. Oh. Okay? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's break this down. Can you do that? Yeah. She just got back from Charlottesville. We uh, know that. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, no. This is a fella. This is a fella. This yeah, is a man. He just got back from Charlottesville. This is man for man. Uh, okay, so the kids, I guess the, the, the family's going to go to meet the teacher night. And while everybody's getting settled in, you sneak off and find and, and hang out in your minivan. And Not then twice. another father comes and no blacks or Jews. No. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely not. Uh, Which, obviously, as they say, not a racist comment. No. Right. Just right. not for me. Just not my thing. Not it's my thing. Be a quickie. 
Yeah. It's got to be a quickie. I hate He's... it. I hate it when they say that on back page too. Like you, you find a girl, you fall in love, and then you read the little fine print at the bottom. No, no blacks. Damn, damn it. I know. I was so close. He seems so confident in this. Like he's yeah. been doing this a while? I don't know. Or he's just confident that there's just another fella at that exact school that wants to go out in the minivan while mom's talking to the teacher. I mean, what's he do all summer long? Wait for this day. I don't know. <laughs> I wow. don't know. Or Names do, for this guy? Wait, oh, what about, can, can, we, can we explain oral top by chance? You're going to have to look that up because right. I had to look it up too. And I'm, I, don't know. I, th- I think I, I know what, what it means. means but... I, I, don't, I don't think I know. I don't think I want to know either. So I'm good. <laughs> Once you know, you know. can't unknow. Right, right, so we've, you know. we've got some names here. We've got Hazel Woody Harrelson. Okay. Which is pretty good. <laughs> uh, it's a Nissan Quest. We've got Johnny Quest. Ooh, Johnny Quest. <laughs> Hold on. We got some, we, he said he, it's got to be a quicker, quickie, so we got Quickie Ricardo. Mm-hmm. Also, Kindergarten Pop. Ah, I love bad. this one. Like Somebody said this over. Schoolio. <laughs> <laughs> or Richard Bannon. I don't know. What do you like? I like Johnny Quest. I like uh, Schoolio. Kindergarten know. Pop's kid, Kindergarten too. Pop is the dope one. All right, there it is. <laughs> Kindergarten Pop. Kindergarten Pop. That's it. All right, there are your three nominees. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please vote for your favorite freak. Did the girl leave the address by the airport? <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to respond back and you got to send a D picture I can't before send you do that. that. But she's That's... at the airport, though. So, I mean, it's by the airport. Yeah. By yeah. the airport. I say if you're answering any of these, you need to answer number three, is what you need to do. <laughs> the school thing? Yeah. No, nah, man, you get caught doing something on school it's, it's grounds. School grounds. That's crazy. Yeah. That is I just true. mean you because you're that. Jewish. That's a felony. Yeah. You should totally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Asian. Yeah. Oh, you can't sorry. come back from that. <laughs> Can't come back from that. Can't recover from that. All right. Vote via our Twitter page at R-I-Z-Z Show. All right. So nominee number one is um, Pick Nicholas Cage. That's the guy that's going to be in Faust Park, mm-hmm. and uh, he wants you to come and basically tackle him, swoop him up, put him in the trunk of your car, take him back to your pl- or his place. You can do whatever you want. Treat him like a toilet. Just be respectful, and you're out if you're a smoker. All right. Nominee number two is Hope Winfrey. That's a lady by the airport who is... Uh, She's ready to go, but you got to bring her some things, including Cool Ranch Doritos, some Q-tips, and some Bud Heavy. And you just heard from uh, Kindergarten swishes. Pop. <laughs> Swish of Sweets. Swish of Sweets. Grapes. Great flavor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get our endorsements. Uh, Finesse, if you were to vote for one of these people, mm-hmm. as who is the freakiest, mm-hmm. in your opinion? Uh, I'm going with uh, Kindergarten Pop. Okay. Any reason why? He want to do it at the school, in the parking lot, with the kids walking around, and with everybody talking about education. How many said? We've got to make sure there's no <laughs> kids around. Got to be you very know, careful about I like, that I like the real seductive knock twice. I, I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you. I like that. Mm-hmm. You knock yeah. once, you ain't getting in. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a red Nissan Quest, and yeah. there's a male sitting in there. Mm-hmm. No, no, must be the wrong one. And that's yeah. the wrong person. <laughs> now, just the fact that it's a family vehicle, too, mm-hmm. like your minivan. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Your kid just got out of it. He's getting back in it in 10 minutes, and, and you have just done this. All right, John, who do you think? Oh, same one. All right. Same one, believe me. Moon? One is, t- is tough to beat, man, because that, that's pretty gnarly. Oh, but the school factor, right? That school is. factor that's takes it. Yeah. Kindergarten pop. Because, man, you got all the other hours in the day. You got all the other hours in the year. You don't need to do it on a school property. Come See, on, that first one man. by the park. You seen that movie, The Warriors? The oh, gang yeah, members yeah, yeah. trying to get home. Yeah. Remember the dude that was stopped <laughs> trying to, he stopped to try to pick up the girl in, in the park, and she was a cop and handcuffed him to the bench. I don't think I ever right. saw that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh he did a remake, or not a remake, or like a remaster re release a couple years ago. Come play. out and play. Classic Riz. Is that classic. what the uh, what the what the bottles? Yeah, yeah. With the glass okay. bottles. I know I know the scene. I don't know the movie. Mm-hmm. My bad, guys. Whoa, oh, come <laughs> on, man. You know it's my birthday you today. What? <laughs> uh, so, right, and then so. the other girl, she wants you know she, you know that's too much. That's just a grocery list. That's yeah. a fun. grocery list. Yeah. But she's not a hoarder. Okay. She says she's not a hooker. No, yeah, you're a hooker. Yeah, <laughs> you're a hooker. Come no. over and do me, but stop a QT for <laughs> Beyonce <laughs> face. Uh, Jeff. Uh, I'll go with uh, Kindergarten Pop as well. And uh, honestly, is there's a bunch of different reasons why everything we already talked about. But if you're going to s- say that you're gay and you're only oral top, you're just really not really into the lifestyle. I mean, either go or don't go. That's what I'm saying. What is oral top? <laughs> yeah. We'll explain that during here, the commercial here we break. Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, tones of home? Uh, yeah, we're going uh, definitely Kindergarten All Pop. Right. What and uh, me as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm going uh, Kindergarten Pop, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, up to you guys. Vote on our Twitter page, at R-I-Z-Z Show, and we'll have the results for you before we get out of here at 10 o'clock. <clears throat>
All right, Finesse Mitchell's here. You can hang out for a little while longer, or you got to go? Um, we have to be, like, they gotta be... minutes away at 930. Uh, they got to be somewhere twenty mi- in 20 oh. minutes? No, 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 at 930. So we got a few minutes? We got All a few right, minutes. Right, we do another segment. We got a few have, minutes. How about some, uh, some celebrity <laughs> news after the break? All right, welcome back. Uh, Finesse Mitchell is here. Yo, it's your you boy Finesse Mitchell. From, uh, okay, go. From SNL? Yes. Comedy from... Central, NBC, Disney Channel, Ant Farm, the movie Who's Your Caddy, uh-huh. the movie Mad Money, uh, Jimmy Fallon, uh, uh-huh. Showtime Roadies, uh-huh. HBO uh-huh. Def Comedy Jam, Showtime Shaq All-Star Comedy Jam, uh, BET Comic View, uh, uh-huh. I'm running out. It's, it's good when you're like, uh, what else, what else? And there's like five other things still to go. You know me from the park where you sit on checkered blankets. <laughs> 1 p.m. You'll know me. 1 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, Atlanta's own uh, Finesse Mitchell. ATL. I'm living in L.A. now. I love the L.A. life. But your your heart's in Atlanta. Yeah, always. 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 Right. We will avenge that Super Bowl. And uh, that's pretty well, much it. That's all I got to say about there that. There is a funny story. So what is it now? Is now the uh, the Chick-fil-A? Is that in Atlanta? The, the yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I forget what the what the actual dome is called. It's called a Mercedes Benz Stadium. The new one, that's what they're calling it. Mercedes yeah, yeah. Benz. So, so yeah. they're inside of the stadium. They're opening up a Chick Fil A. Yep. Well, you know what the deal with Chick Fil A is? Is it's closed on Sundays. Right. And they're still going to hold that up during the NFL season. Yep. You're kidding. It will be open once this season when the Falcons, <laughs> I think, play like the Saints on Thursday Night Football. Yep. How dumb is that? That's but it'll really be open. Dumb. But it'll be open when there's like. A concert there or any but other the joke would be on them because black people love Chick Fil A. So do white people. You want to know but what else? Is black funny, people love it so much. Just because you closed, that don't mean we not getting in. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. No, they're smart. No, they're smart because somebody bought another kiosk right near it, mm-hmm. and they're opening up a place that sells fried chicken sandwiches, mm-hmm. and they're calling it closed on Sundays. Uh, that's ah, hilarious. nice. Trust me. Wow. Let us lose to the Saints. Everything going to be open <laughs> that day. Trust me, we're getting our chicken. We're going right, to get some chick fil We're getting some our chick fil We are getting our chicken. Uh, Finesse is at Helium Comedy Club. Mm. A show tonight, mm. two shows tomorrow, and two shows on Saturday. Bridge, you ever been to Helium? Yeah, it's great. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is my first time. I'm oh, excited to go. Great club. People, I would love for y'all to come down and welcome me. It starts tonight, 8 p.m. Bring your blankets. Go to, bring your blankets. Bring, your, bring everything, <laughs> Cool man. ranch, Doritos. We're going to have Q-tips. a good time. We're going to talk man, about this everything. Is, it's so cool that you were here because you don't really – I didn't really get to know you and, and how talented you are from SNL. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the majority of what I know you from, and you just weren't on there enough. I know. I told them that, and then they let me go. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Keenan Thompson. What's up, baby? All right, let's do they some. They said they're uh, going to only keep one. I said, all right. Oh, oh, oh. Let's do uh, some celebrity news. All right, it's uh, it's brought to you by Lena's Pizza, St. Louis's only frozen pizza made with 100% real Provel cheese. Uh, that Taylor Swift deal uh, with the DJ, uh, the guy's name is David Mueller, who supposedly he grabbed her ass. Mm-hmm. Uh, they both go to court. They sue each other. He loses big time, obviously, and he is now – Hurting for work. He has been out of work for quite a while, and he says because of this, he just can't get a job. His lawyer sucks. He should have easily beat that in court because she has no ass. <laughs> His, that's the worst lawyer ever. I don't understand how. I mean, you've been to he grabbed meet- her back. That's basically what he you've did. You've been to these meet and greets before. The guy was with his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And there's a thousand people around, including her security and her handlers, all that stuff. And this guy to have the collions to did do he that. squeeze? That's nuts. She says that he squeezed. Okay, if he if he did that, then maybe because you know sometimes in those pictures I've been on so many red carpets, people are different, you know sizes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Taylor Swift is a freaking avatar. She's tall, you know what I mean. So is he she? just probably put his hand back there, didn't realize it was his ass. But once you do that, you freeze. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. once you put your hand on somebody, you don't move it because you're so focused on let me get this picture. You don't look and be like, oh shit. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. All good. All oh, good. Okay, but yeah, but you don't. I've been on so many carpets where you're like, okay, this is a uh, Carrie Washington, uh-huh. this is Angela Bassett, this is, and some people talk, some people show. But once you put your hand there and they they squeeze you, you squeeze them. He probably didn't even know he was squeezing her butt. Well, she says that he lifted up her skirt and grabbed a handful of tush. Yeah. So now okay. if there was if there was lift and tush, yeah, there was a lift. There like, was a lift. Then that's a different story. That's that's the a different lift story. is the thing that really creeps uh-huh. me out. 
if that's what happened. I mean, she had a little skirt on. He and like you said, he could have been going for the small of the yeah. back and caught the skirt and up it. it. All it's all about how he reacted afterwards. Either mm-hmm. way, his career is over. He can't yeah. get a job in radio anymore, and he's kind of begging, "Please hire me." Hey, homie, go on to Nissan, get you a red Nissan Quest, <laughs> <laughs> and just get you a new career, dog. It's Start not typing. over for you. <laughs> Start typing. Uh, last few days, we've seen Google and GoDaddy cancel a white supremacist website domain. Facebook, Reddit, bans hate groups. GoFundMe removed a campaign in support of that dude accused of driving the car into the protesters this weekend, Charlottesville. Now, Spotify is removing, quote, hate bans from its uh, streaming list. And, man, I looked at a handful of places this morning before the show. I couldn't find a, quote, unquote, list of bans you know, like, here's the list of bands that they took off of Spotify. Uh-huh. I'd be very curious if anybody knows it or can find it. But there are or were 37 white supremacist, quote unquote, bands that could be found on Spotify. A lot of those bands were listed on in a 2014 Southern Poverty Law Center report that named 54 racist bands whose music could be listed on Damn. iTunes, Spotify, and Amazon, while others were found through the help of so Spotify, of Spotify recommendations. douched them out. Yeah, douched them out. All right, well. hmm. A few months after that, iTunes removed a number of the bands, and then Spotify and Amazon had not up until this point. So Get Spotify, your hate music some other place. That's right. Just Get out of here. Just because one hate group acts bad, all the other hate groups got to suffer. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's what <laughs> they're saying. <laughs> Terrible. Isn't that horrible? <laughs> one bad apple. You ruined one it for everybody. bad <laughs> apple. <laughs> One bad tiki torch party. Did you know the tiki torch every... people actually came out to give a statement saying we do not? And they should have. Like you know, like <laughs> they if, ain't if, have if no choice. See, if you see pictures of you know these white supremacist people marching around with these with patio furniture, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it was. I saw it briefly. It was. It was like the stereotypical the the, the yes. bamboo ones, right? Yeah. The woven, the woven tiki yeah. torch. Yeah. yeah. The yes. problem is I haven't seen that because I keep seeing all the memes where they uh, substitute it with. You know, dongs and, like, all that kind of stuff. (laughs) Those are the ones that I've seen. And I know they're against gays, and I don't want to offend any gay people, but those were the gayest tiki torches I've ever (laughs) seen. So why are you marching around? With a gay tiki torch, <laughs> talking like, about you're talking, we like, hate you're gays. talking like you're talking about like go get like an Indiana Jones torch. Get a real like, torch. Right. I mean, put some thought into it, man. Like a stick with some toilet paper dipped in gasoline. Man, do there it the go. right way. Don't be a lazy white nationalist. <laughs> Did you see them swing? And when the fights broke out and they swing in the tiki torches, you got to use your wrist because they're so long. <laughs> so you just look like Serena Williams hitting back straight. <laughs> it was just all gay. Every fight looked gay to me. I'm Except just, the, just, it was never mind. I'm just loving that I could see those tiki torches at Lowe's when I walk in the front door in case I want to have a luau night at the, <laughs> yeah. at the Rich Show House. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they had citronella in them when they lit them. Like, <laughs> so not only are we protesting, but <laughs> no mosquitoes. Yeah, guys, it is buggy out. Away. <laughs> I bet you Home Depot and Lowe's didn't know what was going on. <laughs> they was just like, you can't torches. keep them on the shelf. <laughs> Car- Carl's <laughs> in the stock going, what's up with this? <laughs> what's going on? I didn't season you people. What's going on? here crazy uh we talked about anna ferris and chris uh pratt uh getting a divorce and everything and has should. been and everything is cool do you know them you ever met them? <laughs> no i'm just saying his career is blowing up she ain't done nothing in a while let yeah, her go but, but that's uh like his uh, his kid's uh mother it hap- happens every day man uh. and kids know what his mom so i believe in love i do too but i believe in like equal bank accounts too <laughs> <laughs> let her go it's hollywood baby <laughs> Well, you know what? It may be turning into a Hollywood divorce because Anna Ferris does that podcast called Unqualified. This week's episode, she actually talked about the split, and she said, quote, life's too short to be in relationships where you feel this isn't fully right or somebody doesn't have your back. Mm. And she doesn't explain it. She just says, or someone doesn't fully value you. Ooh, and if mm. you remember, that was the whole thing when it first came out. I was like, well, his career's blown up, and she's at home watching the kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, so maybe there was a little bit of bitterness and there. And she was the big star when they got married. Yeah. Yep. Like she was the big star. And Happens all like that. Scary movie. Yeah, like, you know, it's show business. There's there's uh, ego and jealousy mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Hey, if Jennifer Garner can take it, she can too. Beat it, Ferris. <laughs> Beat it, Ferris. Beat it, Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> Next, if I if I say the name Bonnie Tyler, I, I would assume now everybody in this room knows who that is. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the lady who sang "Total Eclipse of the Heart." Remember yes. that from back in the day. Yes. Well, she's huge right now because Monday is the big 
Eclipse, Eclipse yeah. that's okay. coming, and it's big in this town because of uh, the what is it called? Not Path the, of Totality. Path of Totality is coming right through yeah, this. So we area. got the full on eclipse here in St. Louis. Huge here. Yeah, it's it's all the talk of the town. So what's Bonnie Tyler doing? Thirty five years later, after that song came out, she got herself another gig. Nice. Yeah, uh, Royal Caribbean Cruises is doing a cruise, a total eclipse cruise. Mm. And she will be up on that boat, and it's Monday, and she's going to be singing Total Eclipse of the Heart during the eclipse. Of course she is. Hmm. And then she'll go back underneath that rock. Uh, the Joe um, Jonas's band, is it DNCE or is it Dance? Do you know? Uh, I think I think it's DNCE. DNCE, yeah. uh, they'll be uh, backing her on this particular endeavor. So that's what she's doing. Great. That boat's going to sink. <laughs> <laughs> Not with Joe Jonas in it, man. Yeah, man. It's, I feel bad vibes. Uh, there's another uh, audio in there, and the one that's not entitled to DJ. If you yes. will play that for me, if you guys could tell me who this might be. Okay. Migos. What is this? Life's a game hey. of hide and seek, and what you find makes you unique. Hey. You know what this is? Yeah. It's from an animated Netflix deal called Home Adventures of Tip and O. The person who voices a character just released the song. That sounds like Cher. That's Cher. Damn, dude, look at you. You can totally hear that that's Cher. Yeah. No, you well, I thought for Cher. sure everybody would know immediately. <laughs> no, you a genius, dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> short change yourself. That was amazing. <laughs> all right, on TV tonight, that's all I got. On TV tonight, you got Monday Night Football, preseason football, even though it's Thursday. Yep. <laughs> also, ABC got Boy Band, Fox has Beat Shazam, and Lifetime has Project Runway. Crappy birthdays today. Our own Mr. Rizzuto has a birthday today. Donnie Wahlberg is 48. Uh, Sh- Sean Penn is 57. Uh, Rick Hilton, Paris Hilton's dad, is 62. And today's Burton birthday of the day. Dude is a solid actor in some legit movies, including uh, Godfather Part Two, Raging Bull, Taxi Casino, The Deer Hunter, Robert De Niro, 74 years young. That's my man. Today's porno birthday, which is being brought to you by Patricia's Where Fun and Fantasy Meet, is Ryan Driller. Today's birthday, he whore is a master of the pole, and we are not talking about the vault here, folks. What do you mean? Uh. He has proven that he is the master in 381 fine films, including two chicks, same time. Mm. Also in Big Boobs, Turn Me On. Uh-huh. In a movie called Your Car Is Effed Up. <laughs> Your Nissan Quest. Also, <laughs> on the inside. On also the inside. in My Dad Did My Girlfriend. Again. The Gay Office. Mm. In a movie called Yep, That's My Sister. Oh. And who can forget his unforgettable role in Hey, Nice Shoes, Wanna F? Okay. Ryan Driller, 35 years old. That's Ryan your porno Driller. birthday. Crappy birthday, and that is your crap on celebrities. I want to thank Mr. Finesse Mitchell for coming in. Thank you guys for having me. Absolutely. Had a great time. Uh, Helium Comedy Club, a show tonight at 8 o'clock, two shows tomorrow, 7.30 and 10 o'clock, and then Saturday, 7.30 and 10 o'clock. Anything Can I say else? something real quick? Yeah, of course. St. Louis, you haven't been to a good comedy show in a long time? Treat yourself. Your boy Finesse Mitchell is in town. I'm one of the best in the business. I'm telling you, guarantee you fun, guarantee laughs, guarantee to be offended. Come on now. And Let's have a good time. And he's going to bring the fire yeah. and the thunder. I got, I, got Q-tip, I got the 500 pack of Q-tips. <laughs> I got Cool Ranch Doritos. <laughs> and I got the heavy, uh, what we got? Heavy butt heavy. Heavy butt, butt heavy. Heavy. <laughs> We got it all. Come on down. uh, Mr. Finesse Mitchell. All right, hang on.